Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm going to show you this 91 BMW M3 and there's some funny things to check out on here and things I've noticed that I want to talk about real quick before I even start showing like the build and the tune. But if you press the Y button it says toggle panel over here. Now it does say King's All Drive Drift. That's what you're going to look for. You're going to, you know, you're going to go into here. You're just going to go to keywords drift best for handling and search and you'll find me in the list okay i do have an all-wheel drive and i have a real -wheel drive and i'll make a real -wheel drive video after i'm done with this one but hey if we do this right here um king's all-wheel drive drift and there's that thing right there is press y for the toggle panel and i've noticed something that if you come to this page right here it's telling me that this is a real wheel drive tune and it's not it's got an all-wheel drive conversion on it, and when I go through the tune, you're going to see there is all-wheel drive. So that right there is broken. Also, let's get out of this, and let me show you guys something else. If I want to, say, download one of my own tunes, all right? Now, the, the cards aren't showing up right now, but it, you know what it is. Now, this is for my real-wheel drive. If I click on that and load that, all right, I have to pay... 13,000 on my own tune over and over again. It's not free. You have to pay 13,125 credits every time you switch your tunes on your own cars in your own garage. What's up with that? Why wasn't it free? I've already spent it and it's like, nope, you got to spend that every single time you switch from Tune to tune to tune. You got to spend 13,125 bucks every single time you do it. That's kind of broken and kind of BS if you if you ask me. You know, it should be free. It's our own tunes. It is what it is, guys. That's what I found out. So, let's go into uh, everything. Show you guys what I put onto this car. And the replay will be at the end. All right, so let's start at the end where, you know, the engine swap is the uh, 6.2 liter. V12, V12, 6.2 liter V12. No, it's a 6.2 liter V8. And um, it's got 1,063 horsepower. I wish I could put a V12 in here. I wish I could put the 6.5 liter V12 in here um, and give me a lot more power. But this is what I could get was 1,063 horsepower. I did look at the uh, 4.0 liter V8. It didn't hit 1,000 horsepower, nor did the V10. It got close, but it doesn't hit 1,000 horsepower. And, of course, you got the rotary engine there, and you got the uh, I4, I6, I6, 4, and another 4. So, um, I figured this was the best engine, get 1,063 horsepower. It's twin turbo, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, all-wheel drive, drivetrain. Here you go with the uh, rear-wheel drive, Okay. It's got a uh, the twin turbo, and you do have a supercharger option. That's what my real wheel drive has, is has the supercharger on it. All right, not much here that you can do. Um, here's just the options that you can have, just to let you guys know. Get to see the customization. And what I picked was this one right here. Front bumper, I just decided just to leave it stock just to save weight. All right, this is your other options here. And I could have went with that, but then it cut the uh, the elf off the side there. Um, so I, I decided not to use it. You could use this one as well, but it adds weight. And that's also downforce right there. And we weren't using downforce on it. So I decided, you know what, we'll just go with this. It's got the, looks like fog lights on. It looks really good. So that's what I went with. You got the race clutch, race transmission, race differential and a race drive line all right rims i just went with the stock 15s in the front and stock 15s in the rear all right my rims of choice now my rims of choice change from this one in the rear wheel drive they're they're two different rims so just to let you guys know but i got the tc 105 ends on here okay here we just got stock 205s in the front and stock 205s in the rear, and then a stock tire compound. Now, of course, you know, you got other other ones you could use, 
And then for of course so for some reason there's drag tires and I have yet to see a drag track on this on this game. You could probably go to the one of the ovals and find the longest straightaway and get all your friends together and just do, you know, poles on, on the straightaways. You could do that. That's what I was thinking. You got race brakes so you can stop. No roll cage, but this is what it would look like. Ooh, pretty. I do have a heavy ballast on here, and that's only so I could keep it a P1-8800. All right? This one would take you down further, you know, and then these right here would take you up to a P P1. Uh, R, oh, that, well, we already know it's P1. It's R. I'm still getting used to this game. It is what it is. All right? Usually it has it on the other side, and you're like, oh, it's the A800, and now you got, you know, it's on the other side. Regardless, you know, when you play Horizon 5 for so long, yeah, it is what it is. But I'm not restarting this video. I'm, yeah, I've already had to restart it three times just to get the intro right. That's how my day's been going. Either way, it's got the race oil and cooling, race flywheel, race camshaft, valves, displacement, and pistons and compression. All right, and now we're at the fuel and air. So you got race exhaust, race air filter, race fuel system, ignition. You got that race twin turbo and an intercooler. Just giving you all that glorious power. Arr. Now let's look at the tune, show you guys what I did to this thing. So to give you guys some... Extra, extra grip, help out on the drift. It's still super slidey, just to let you know, 15, 15. Here's the gearing that I've come up with on this one. All right, and these tunes, you know, all-wheel drive drift tunes on, on Forza Motorsport is not Horizon. It is not Horizon 5, I can tell you that, okay? So, this is what I've come up for you guys on this. All right, you're going to be using second, third gear. All right, alignment's a little different, 2.4. 5 0, 2 9, 4 2, 7, and a 60 degree angle. So, a little wild, but it works. Uh, anti roll bars are just there for show, so one and one. Uh, springs are 1055 and 1036. Point two and point two. To get those, you go, you take these and you go all the way up to stiff or all the way down the soft to zero out the numbers or get them close to what I have. All right. And ride height is as low as you can go is 4.5 inches off the ground. Uh, dampening is 13, 1, 13, 13. Uh, that we don't have to worry about. And we don't have to worry about downforce. And braking, I have 70% to the front with 130% pressure. And when you hit those brakes and when you're going sideways, you'll know exactly what that does. And then my differential is 76, 86, 97, 97, and I found it really good 97% going to the rear, all right? Anything else lower than that, like 86 and everything, and if you try to go sideways, your front end, for some reason, is going to grab and try to make you go straight. So you're going to be constantly turning hard to the right or left while your car tries to straighten you out. So this is what I found out. You know, this isn't Forza Motorsport 6 or 7 or 5 or 4. My my other tunes just probably don't work on here, all right? You have to have more power going to the rear wheels than anything else. Uh, like I said, this is not Forza Horizon 5 either. Horizon 4 it just doesn't work, all right? Um... Uh, these these tunes have been hectic for the, every time I have to make a tune. It hasn't been easy. I, I can't just throw on a tune and take it out and like sweet works. All right, let's share it. Let's go to the next car. Not here. This is this is a whole different ball game and a whole different physics. Uh, so it is what it is, guys. Um, but yeah, this thing's smooth. You're, you're gonna like this one. You're gonna like this one. So. All right, well, hey, there is the tune, the build, etc., etc. Let's go and take the, let me show you guys the replay. 
take this party to the replay. Okay. All right. There it is. It's the one minute and 59 seconds. I just got done tuning it. As you can tell, I'm on my 10th lap with this thing, tuning it. You know, it's not like you can just slap on a tune and just go. No, it took me 10 laps to tune this car. That's how, how long it took. And it's smooth. You're going to like it. Yeah, it's good. The gearing is good. You're good. Anyway, drive with that throttle. It's great. Well, I mean, you can floor it, you know, and you're all right. You'll be all right flooring it. I just can't wait to spend the 13,000 and switch over to real wheel drive to make another video. I'm like, wow. Kind of expensive just to constantly, you know, switch back and forth. It is what it is. Smooth. Very smooth. It works, gets the job done, and gets sideways right. Right. It's because I'm King Bosch. It's what I do. And there we go, I'm stopping. And there you have it. There's the build, the tune, the replay. All of it. And me messing up every once in a while in the video, but that is, it is what it is. It's the first video of the day. And I had coffee too. Hmm. Maybe I need more coffee. Well, hey, guys. Till next time, stay sideways, my friends.